Hi guys and welcome in this new video. The goal of this video is to talk about the best quant trading Python library. First of all, let me explain in 20 seconds what is a Python library. To make it very simple, it's a set of functions and Python classes that you can call directly from your Python environment. And to do so, you need to install the library. To do so, you can do pip install and the name of the library. And you will have a huge advantage using a library because all the code in the library is generally optimized by vectorized computation or using libraries like Numba, for example. Let me give you a quick example. The first time I did a specific volatility function, it took me around 8 seconds to compute this value over my whole data set. 8 seconds is not a lot. The problem is that in my last project, for example, I had 3000 data sets. So 3000 times 8 seconds for only one features. I had a problem. Now, when I use the function from the Quantrios library, I take 3 seconds to compute 40 features by dataset. So let's switch directly on the Quantrios documentation to explain you how this documentation is built. When you will go on the documentation, and you can find a link into the description, you will arrive on this page. Here, you will just have a very quick overview about Contrero and how to install it. And by the way, if you want to join the 100% free newsletter, you just have to click there and you will have the link into the description too. But we need to take a look to the headers and we can see that we have two main packages for now on Contrero and I will add more very soon. The first one is the features engineering. Into the features engineering, each feature will be classed by its category. For example, if I want to have information about the condol, I would go into the condol section and I will have many functions to compute all the information I need. And if I want a practical example, because here it's just the documentation, I can click there and I will arrive on a page explaining how to use it and the different output I will have and many other things. And you have this type of tutorial for each function of Contrio. For example, here in the volatility, you have the possibility to use many volatilities. And if I want to know more just about this one, I will go there and click on this link to have a practical example of using this function like this, okay? So I will call it like that and this is my output. The second thing is the target engineering. The features engineering can be used for machine learning based trading strategy, but also for technical indicators based trading strategy. And the target engineering will be more for financial machine learning. For now, we have only three types of target. Directional target, for example, zero or one, zero, minus one and one. So it's more for the classification. We have the event based target. It means that will not have our target for all the candles I will put into my function. For example, for the peak and valleys, I will only have a signal, a target, when the function will detect a peak or valley, for example, like here. And the magnitude targets are the thing you will use to create a regression. For example, the future returns, the future volatility. So always continuous variable. For now, you have around five, six different targets, but I'm working in the new ones and you will see them very soon. And so the last section there is the tutorials. We have already seen it, but I will advise you to take a look to it because you will have one notebook by category. And each time I had a new features, I update this notebook. For example, two days ago, I updated the libraries with this new function. And so I added two its part into the right notebook. That's very important because it will allow you to use it very quickly. And a last thing, but this time it is your job. Just tell me in the comment what you would see in the Quantrose library in terms of features, target, or simply which new package will help you the most. So I hope you like this video and see you soon in the next one.